Welcome to episode 212, which may actually publish following you know, episode 211. I, m- I may have got my numbers all, all straightened out. If, if you were worried like, like I was, you probably weren't. All right, what is episode 212? Well, it's going to be one of those run and gun, day in the life kind of episodes, but I want to start off in this segment. I want to talk about the challenge that the No Small Creator uh, Facebook group has come up with. So that's what we're going to talk about first. So what is No Small November? No Small November, it's, it's hashtag No Small November. No Small November is a, is a challenge that emerged in the uh, No Small Creator Facebook group. The point of it is to find something really big and, and do that. Do whatever that really big thing is. Find it and do that. Well, I already had started on a really big thing. Uh, which is uh, a, a fiction project that basically boils down to the world of Ciliar. That's that's the name of the place. And within that world, um, I have written over the past, well, I started in 1987, but I've written 13 book-length fiction works. And among those 13 is an 11-book series, which is called the Thrice Born series, Thrice Born. And my No Small November project is to deliver that, to begin delivering that through a website portal. Um, I've, I've long tried to figure a way of getting it uh, to the people who might be interested in it. And as I've watched the evolution of reading over these last five, six, seven, eight years, um, I, I feel like that there is a, a with the cusp of something completely different uh, it is available. So rather than just delivering it as a single giant manuscript and then another and then another, um, I'm going to break it up into um, action sections is what I'm calling them. They're, they're like parts of a chapter. I didn't chapterize the book to begin with. None of the books are literally you know chapterized, but they all have sections, action sections. So these are going to kind of guide the delivery through the, the web portal. Um, it's also going to allow readers to, to follow the story in different ways. To uh, follow a group of characters or follow uh, all the things that happen in one place. Uh, I, I began working on that uh, today is um, a few days into November. I began actually working on it as soon, pretty much as soon as the contest was a, not a contest, but the activity was announced. As soon as the challenge is a challenge, it's not a contest. As soon as that was announced, I began working on it. So that's going to be that, that's going to be my um, no small November project is to is to get that uh, portal up and working. All right, well, there is no way I'm going to finish episode 212 today. Um, I will talk about the No Small November challenges in future videos throughout the month because uh, it's a month-long challenge. Kind of give you some status updates. Uh, one of the things I am going to do is I'm going to launch another YouTube channel specifically for commentary and discussions and things about the world of Ciliar. So that's also on my list of things to do. Now, what was I saying? This episode. You know, I always get myself so distracted. And I'm sitting here. I got something. I'm just going to. In this segment now, before I go off on some stupid, I would never do that though, would I? You don't have to answer that. All right, picking up episode 212. I'm already buckled. What am I doing? Well, daylight savings time. It's not dark. It is 6:31, and I just just a few minutes ago I dropped boom boom pow. I got, I got some, some old people my age who subscribe and they watched it and they said that it's, you know, really good. My comment to one of them was, I, I don't think everybody is going to appreciate it quite so much, but I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful to the comments they have, they have given me. All right. Today we're going to, we're going to pick up uh, sort of a follow up on today's snap live video so today in this video that I'm recording which you know will probably come out tomorrow we're gonna pick up on the creativity topic so let's go do that so in the snap life video 
I said that created, creativity comes when you, you take all of the things you've assimilated and accommodated using Piaget's model for learning where we uh, assimilate new information and then if there's a, a new, something else that we learn we have to rearrange it. The creativity is looking at the gaps in that, in that schema of information and, and thinking of something to plug in. And that's, that's definitely true. But I think there's another characteristic that we need to develop. Not only do we need to, to have a lot of things in our box, in our box, I just did the photography symbol. I don't even know. But we have this box of information, knowledge, truth, thoughts, ideas, and, and we can rearrange that into something creative. But I think there's something else we need, a characteristic we need, in order to be able to do that. So that's kind of where we're going um, with, uh, with this video. What is that characteristic we need in order to, to find those gaps and extend what is already known? All right, time. Uh, it's coming up. It is uh, 6.40. So I'm going to get over here and do the coffee thing. Let's do that. In addition to having a lot of information that we can rearrange and be creative, um, there, there's another characteristic that, that we need. Uh, to, to, to create something new means to be able to think beyond what currently exists. I'm unwrapping my crackers. I'm sure that's a lovely sound. You have to think beyond what already exists. I, I, I'm going to invent a... I'm back. I had to go trash can. It's over. You can't really throw um, cellophane, you know, that, that plastic wrap that goes on the cheesy crackers. No, it just doesn't throw. It, it's, you know, it doesn't wad up. So boom, boom, pow dropped today. And immediately I started getting comments from grown-up type people who, um, yeah, they're still coming in. Wow. Um, and and um, grown-up grown -up type people who were like, yeah. This is awesome. And one of the guys said it was epic. And I'm not sure everybody is going to see the epic nature of Boom Boom Pow. I don't know. See, it seemed like a really good idea when I started. It really did seem like a good idea. I thought this will be really funny. I don't know if it's funny or if it's just so cringy that people laugh. I'm not sure. It's a fine line between humor and cringe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick to that. I will actually... I'm going to tweet that today. Fine line between humor and cringe. <laughs> All right, creativity. We'll talk about that throughout the course of today. Um, All right, breakfast time. I'll probably think of something else to say before 8.20. Uh, meanwhile, we'll wrap this segment up. Well, it's probably worth, it's probably worth doing a, uh, a No Small November update. Um, I, I really spent a lot of time over the holidays here trying to um, get uh, to get started on my website for the the world of silly art. One of the things one of the things I want to accomplish in the week to come is, is to get the world of silly art's YouTube channel up and running. And uh, I, I shot some footage this weekend, uh, sort of introducing the concept of the the www wow www is a portal into the the fictional world uh, of Ciliar and then uh, sort of a little background uh, video on that so I'll, I'm going to try to get that channel up and running and I'll probably mention it as as I make progress um, and I guess I guess fictional creative writing is a is a good tie back into the concept for this the, for this episode the concept that I want to invent I'm calling it cognitive agility, cognitive agility. And I'm sure there's other concepts that are very similar, and if I were, you know, I could probably find one and make it work, but um, like I've heard of ones like mental plasticity, plasticity meaning being able to bend, or mental flexibility, or, or being, but I, I like cognitive, I like cognitive agility, because we all kind of understand agility from a physical perspective, and, and agility is, is that characteristic that allows us to be nimble in the way we, 
we translocate, the way we move. It allows us to, to bend and to flex in different ways. Uh, and, and, and allows us to, to do things with very fine detail. Agility, I think, is a good physical metaphor that I want to tap into. The other thing about agility is, that a reason I like agility better than the other words, is we can, we can train to be more agile. And I want to suggest that we can train our mind to be more agile. And how, how do you do that? How do you train your mind to, be, to have more mental cognitive agility? How do, you, how do you train your mind to be more agile? Well, that, that'll be a fun, that'll be a fun little segment. Um, fun segments. I should have more of those, shouldn't I? All right. I told you I would come up with something before I finished my crackers. I'm still, still working on them. I just, I moved all the way from, from right there to, to right here. This is where I got my computer. In a little while, I'm going to move to the other classroom. Once you know that, you knew that. All right. End of segment. So cognitive agility. So this is an idea that I'm, I'm suggesting is necessary for creativity. Cognitive agility. Let's talk about that. Well, let's start with not, cognitive, not cognitively agile. Let's start with the not. Because sometimes if we eliminate, you know. So here's some not cognitively agile statements. That'll never work. We've always done it this way. I don't know about that. I'm not sure if that'll work. I'm falling off the stool. That's, that's, that's just physical agility, non-physically agile. How I've fallen off a stool. Are you kidding me? Cognitive agility is an approach to how we view things and how things might be. It's not just understanding how things are, but it's, it's looking around and seeing how things might be. It is uh, a practice of, well, how else could we do this? What's another way of accomplishing this? Um, sometimes the other ways are not as good as the way you're doing it, but sometimes the other ways of doing things are better. And, and cognitive agility is a, a mindset of thinking, well, how else could the desks be arranged? Or how else could, or how else could, whatever. So cognitive agility is a mindset. It is, and you practice it by, by intentionally looking at things and asking the questions. Wait a minute. Is this, is this normal? Is there a better way? By intentionally looking for better and new and different ways of doing things. Cognitive agility is a mindset that takes you from the landscape of what is to the landscape of what could be or what might be. All right, it's 7.44. I'm going to bring this uh, morning dialogue to a close. As you can imagine, I'll probably uh, check back in at lunchtime with some more thoughts. Cognitive agility. All right, lunchtime, I'm changing rooms. We, we've got something to talk about. All right, so, so what, what are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about Boom Boom Pal. <laughs> we're, we're talking about Boom Boom Pal. So I posted it really early this morning thinking that no one would notice it, and, and some people noticed it, particularly uh, Sean Gunther and, and uh, Brian Vlasic, and they shared it on different social media, YouTube, Twitter, Brian's wife's, YouTube or Twitter, and then some other people have shared it. And I'm, I'm sitting at lunchtime, so I posted like seven hours ago. Seven hours ago, and uh, 206 views, 206. 206 views, and uh, most of my videos don't get that in seven hours. Most of my videos don't get 206 views ever. And they certainly don't get it in seven hours. So wow, I'm so I guess there is a lesson. There is a lesson in here to be learned about social media and support. Um, those of us who are part of No Small Creator, I think the lesson here is 
that if we support each other and we, you know, I, I think there's a lesson to be learned. Our support for each other makes a huge difference and we need to be doing that and we need to be talking about each other's channels and those kinds of things. So, um, so that's it. I'm going to have lunch. I'm going to eat my lunch now and uh, we'll, we'll talk about this creativity thing after I eat. Lunch is over. I, I do have a couple comments before I wrap up this video on creativity. I have a couple comments. Those of you who have subscribed to the channel because of Boom Boom Pow, um, I hopefully, hopefully you kind of looked around to see I don't, I don't mean, I, I don't do spoken word hip hop covers as a rule. That, that was sort of a surprise. So, um, that I would even, I don't even know how I thought of that. I remember, I think it was probably the, the lyric that says, stepping on leprechauns, I thought was so ridiculous. And then I just got this wild idea and I went with it. I'll bring us back to the creativity thing. If we could argue that my spoken word version of Boom Boom Pow is creative, where did that come from? The, what I'm calling cognitive agility, the ability to look at things and be flexible with what you're looking at, the, the ability to, to say, I wonder what would happen if. I know there's a lot of really, really bad jokes that, that start off with, I wonder what would happen if. I wonder what would happen if I put these two, the curiosity of what could be, the, the curiosity of what might be. That's what I mean by cognitive agility. You need, to, you need to practice looking at things differently. You need to practice looking at things of what could be, what might be, what should be, what ought to be. What are the possibilities of the reality that isn't existing now? And what can we do to get to that possibility? That's what I mean by cognitive agility. I don't know. Thanks for all the people who got on board with Boom Boom Pow. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you like the life lessons and motivation on this kind of weird style I have of putting it out there, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave me a comment, a question. That's all I have for this one. I will see you in the next one.